It's part two, baby. It's part two, baby. It's part two. <laughs> With me and you. Hello, everyone. I'm Tupperware Pete. Yes, this is the seafood risotto part two. Under the seafood. Under the seafood. This is part two of the seafood risotto. And I'll, uh, because when I ended the video last time, it had, I think it had nine minutes left on the microwave. And I thought, oh no, we'll end it now. And then when I ended the video, I realized no one's going to see me put the butter in or the chopped Asian greens or the lemon zest or the Parmesan cheese. I thought, oh my goodness, I better do a part two. All right, so here we go. Part two, fingers crossed. The pressure indicator is in the down position, and yes, it is in the down position, which means the, the cooking process has finished, and it's totally 100% safe to remove, to lift this safety arm up, and then twist the cover off, all right? So all I'm gonna do is, oh. Well, pop that down. Lift the safety arm up, give that a twist, remove that away from you, and that, oh my goodness. <gasps> Seafood, it's marinara mix, arborio rice, it's homemade chicken stock that I made in the pressure cooker about six weeks ago and popped it in the freezer containers, and, oh, and a couple of cloves of garlic that I minced up, right? So in there. Now what I'm going to do is, in my, this is my Tupperware vent smart, I've just got a whole wad load of Asian, oh! A whole wad load of Asian greens, right? Now, in my, um, I think it's called Tong Ho, or does, can anyone tell me what this is called, please? Because I can't remember. <laughs> but I saw it and went, oh, that looks delicious. All right, and I asked the um, green grocer how, how he does it, how he uses it, and he said, you can use it raw in a salad, or you can pop it in a stir fry or a soup. And I just went, so it's like any other leafy green vegetable that you can eat raw, or pop in a stir fry, or pop in soup. But it's a fraction of the price, right? And the Asian greens, all of the Asian greens in the Tupperware VentSmart containers, like my pak choy, you, um, I can't remember, I'm not that educated, please don't judge me, I can't remember what they're all called, but I know they taste delicious, all right? So... That in my vent smart container with the with the vent set to the half setting. Where is it? This side. It'll last for just over two weeks, right? So how awesome is that? Remember, I did my salad up. It's like a quick Greek salad with some um, Asian greens, cos lettuce, some little tiny bubby cherry tomatoes. Look at them, they're gorgeous. Some black olives, some feta cheese. I drizzled some olive oil and some red wine vinegar over there with some salt and pepper. And I chopped up a decent amount of oregano. Now, instead of rinsing and washing that up, all I'm going to do now, all I'm going to do is just grab some of these Asian greens because I ran out of parsley. Oh, hang on, I need to wash them. And I did wash it up in my... So just like coriander, there are some Asian greens they love growing in sandy soil. So you do have to wash it thoroughly in the Tupperware vent smart container, in the Tupperware salad spinner, all right? We'll be singing and spinning, the price is winning. All right, let's just grab some more of this and we'll just give it a wash. When we're spinning salad greens, spinning Asian greens. Oh, it doesn't matter what you eat, just as long as it's in Tupperware. Come on, every guy, every girl, everywhere around the world, and we'll be dancing. Okay, here we go. A little bit of parsley. We'll just pop that straight into there. Let's grab our Tupperware spatula. <laughs> I do like singing in the kitchen. <laughs> All right. Um, actually, I like to sing anywhere. We'll throw in some... There we go. Can you see? We've just thrown in some Asian green. We're just going to pretend it's parsley, right? So it's still got the nutrients and the colour for the desired effect. All right. Now what we're going to do is I've got in here in my Tupperware clear mate. I've got some Parmesan cheese. Now you can go by what the recipe goes, or you can just measure with your eyes, measure with your heart, measure with your eyes, measure with your heart, and. Sing everything you see. Oh, that's crumbled. Not a problem. I don't mind a little bit of parmesan in with my seafood. Too easy. We will pop that into there. 
decent amount of parmesan. We'll pop that back into there. We will seal that. I know there's not much in there, but that will last in my fridge for at least another four weeks easily, right? It's a protein. Don't express the air out of there, all right? So that's my parmesan cheese. Then what I'm going to do is, this is my butter. I keep my butter in a Tupperware Clearmate rectangle. On the bottom, it tells you how much it holds. So this one holds, what does that say? 450 mils. So all of your 440 gram cans, your standard cans of, of food, well, once you've opened them, just pop them in there. If you do have 250 grams of butter, this has been sitting out at room temperature, so it's, it is soft, <laughs> which maybe I shouldn't have done, but I wanted it to be soft so that I could pop that through. Because I'm in southeast Queensland, so it's very subtropical where I live. So, butter, this is what I do. There's my 250 grams of butter. Thank you very much. I can then seal that, pop it in the fridge, or bring it out. I'm just going to... A couple of half tablespoons, or decent tablespoons. We'll seal that, and you pop your butter back into the fridge. How awesome is that, right? Now, what we're going to do is, we will also... You can throw in some chilli. If you, if you want to chop up some chilli in your supersonic chopper, absolutely you can. I'm going to... Chilli is an irritant. I'm going to use a little bit of cayenne pepper because I still want that heat. We'll throw that straight into there. And that's... Oh! Lemon. Lemon, the best part, right? This is the Tupperware Zest and Press. So there's your zester. And that will hold up to a quarter of a cup of zest of, you know, lemon, lime, orange, grapefruit, whatever you want to zest. Um, it will also do your garlic, chocolate, nutmeg, all of those bits and pieces. This is your press section. So this is the, the press. So all you have to do is cut side down. And then when you squeeze it, it flips it inside out. So there's really zero wastage. It's brilliant. I'm not going to use the juice, but I am going to use the zest. And I have washed this already. <coughs> Excuse me. Something. <coughs> I think that cayenne pepper went down the wrong way. Or I think I've got a whiff of it somewhere. All right. So what we'll do is we will just pop that straight into there. I'm going to use the entire lemon zest. And I just wanted to show you. I could have prepped this, but I wanted to show you. See how underneath it will hold all of that? So you just... Yep. Yeah. So just roughly quickly for the video so it doesn't take forever for you to watch. <laughs> All right, so we'll just pop that into there. Okay, can you see? Yum, oh, just delicious. All right, so then... So, can you see in here? That's just my, I started with, I halved the recipe. Because remember, when you purchase the Tupperware pressure cooker, my recipe just fell on the ground. <laughs> when you do purchase the Tupperware pressure cooker, there is an electronic version of the cookbook that arrives in your email inbox. If you haven't received it, message me and I can send it to you. There's seafood risotto. This is what I've done. So I've just halved the recipe because I don't want to um, end up with like a bucket load of seafood risotto. So I've just done enough just for me for today. There is, I'm showing you some of the other ones. You can do lamb shanks. There's your Mexican style pulled pork in there. There's, what are we doing? There's a Vietnamese chicken curry recipe that's delicious. Remember I made my homemade stock. There's a few ideas that'll get you going up into there. You can do your stewed fruit into there. How delicious is that with some vanilla bean ice cream? And then in the back, there's a pressure cooking guideline. And you get this as well in your inbox, which talks about meat, cooking time, fish, seafood, vegetables, fruit. There's like a comprehensive guide on how, how to um, pressure cook your food and the, the quantities that you would use, the water and the length of time that you would use, all right? So all I'm going to do is grab my oh, maracas everywhere. Let's just give this a bit of a wipe down. <laughs> wipe down. And we will just quickly, while that's been <laughs> sitting in there and I've been chatting, let's just give that a little bit of a mix Get that butter going through, that cayenne pepper, make sure that that's all combined really beautifully. The parmesan cheese to make that really yummy in there as well. And then what we're going to do is just serve that in a Tupperware clear bowl. 
which I have prepared, <laughs> which I have prepared beforehand. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Let me think. Where did I pop it? All right, here is. Here's a little Tupperware clear bowl. These are the Eco Plus clear bowls. They actually create a circular economy and it bypasses landfill entirely, all right? So we're gonna pop that straight into there. They're heat resistant, so you can put a hot tomato soup in here or you might wanna pop your cold um, Greek salad into there. That's entirely up to you. We're gonna pop this straight into here. Oh, look, do you want me to show you? This is the finished product. This is what it looks like. Just mixed up oh, seafood risotto, absolutely delicious. When you're not messing about, it's only 23 minutes, all right? How cool is that? All right, so we'll just pop this straight into here. yum oh! We've got some lunch now. We've got lunch for tomorrow, or you might want to have dinner for tonight, or there's lunch for two. See, there's a little bit more there. And I can pop that if I wanted to. I could even pop that in my Tupperware silicon bag, pop it in the freezer, and I can reheat that next week. There is my seafood risotto. How yum is that? I'm going to eat that with my Greek salad. Remember, when you purchase an online Tupperware business account, you get 15 to 25% permanent personal discount, like off the entire collection. And there's also a 15 to 25% earning capacity, all right? If you've got any questions or suggestions, please let me know. And you know what you need to do next time? Forget your troubles and get happy. Dance your cares away. Shout out and get happy. I'll see you all another day. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.